been a lot of changes along our beaches over the many years as one storm after another has altered its look. The county is working on getting permits and grants to be able to widen its beaches while the city was out today doing that work. Yeah, our Michael Gibson spent a good portion of the day taking a look at our shoreline with one of our top experts on beach erosion. Michael joins us now with the rest of the details on that issue. Michael. Many of our beaches certainly look rough and for good reason because they have received damage from one storm after another and really haven't had time to fully recover. Today I survey the shoreline with one of our top experts in the state who studies the eroding beaches as part of her work at the Conrad Blucher Institute. So Michael, this is a really great example of how extensive the dune damage has been along the coast. This is like a 18 to 20 foot tall dune and what happened was the waves undercut the base of the dune that you normally could walk up. Of course, you're not supposed to do that. Deidre Williams is a research scientist at the Conrad Blucher Institute. Her specialty is studying the changes that take place along our beaches. She points out that those beaches are the first line of defense against storms and that widening them should be a top priority. First layer of protection is our beach. The wider our beach, beach is, it buffers the increasing waves the increasing water level and surges. It reduces the energy. Here at Padre Bayi Park, the county owned beach has eroded away and now old wooden posts and concrete slabs have emerged. The erosion during Alberto in, in, increased the erosion along the area fronting Padre Bayi Park where Bob Hall Pier has been in the past and the plans for the future, exposing remnants of former infrastructure that was along the beach. Our dune system is what holds back most stormwater events, but much of it has been washed away, and now the dunes have simply been turned into tall cliffs. We anticipate it will take 11 years for this area to recovery without additional storm damage, so the clock hasn't started on those 11 years yet. City work crews near Whitecap were busy widening the beach here. William says this work will go a long way in reducing the strength of the next storm surge event. This young girl showed us her hermit crab that she found here and her mom. Well, she told us she appreciated the city's efforts in widening the beaches here. Um, we're, we come down from Austin generally a couple times a year, so um, we love what they're doing. We love the fact that, that the city is um, taking such an interest in keeping everyone safe. That 11 year time period that Williams was talking about for our dune system and beaches to get back to normal only starts after we've had a couple of storm free seasons that may be several years into the future the way things are looking these days. Leslie Rudy.